Hey guys, how are you? I'm talking uh, uh, right now, I'm in Paris. I was in Dubai last week and right now I'm in Paris. I'm going to go in Italy soon and then from there I'm going to London for my uh, next seminar. So life is good for the New Year's. I'm going to do a big video about to recap the 2016 and what's coming in 2017. But today, I just wanted to, to do this very quick. Uh, I saw on YouTube, uh, like it seems like the internal rotation that I talk about all the time is getting some traction. And so I saw some uh, top coaches in Olympic weightlifting debating the subject whether they were going to go into internal versus ex external. And their answer was no. We, uh, we're just going to tell them to, you know, to push against the bar, but not going to go toward torque, internal or external. And uh, the argument was that uh, it's too complicated to explain to athletes. So first of all, curiosity alone should make you want to understand what is the base argument uh, for what you do, right? Why is what you do working or not working? And uh, the, the base argument is torque, right? We have four movement patterns, a push, a pull, a squat, and a hinge, and two ways of torquing, internally or externally. I, I've talked about this extensively in other videos. Please uh, go back and see. Uh, this is the base of movement. It's movement pattern and which torque allow it to be efficient. So if you're in the wrong, if you're in the movement pattern but the wrong torque, it affects joint positioning uh, for that particular movement pattern. It's going to affect leverage and over time it's going to limit how much you lift and it's going to cause a number of injuries, right? Remember, pulling is external torque, it's long head of the bicep. If you try to press overhead, which is a push, not a pull anymore, and you create external torque, you're putting the entire joint in the, in the in a very un inefficient way evolution getting us over 200,000 years and you're going to end up getting hurt that's a, a video about evolution and why movement deciding a joint pattern that's for another time so but the argument was that why talk about torque why is it so important so first of all as i was saying curiosity alone should make you want to understand why you do what you do. How do you do what you do? The why and the how is very important. You, you can't just have coaches telling you what to do. It's not enough. They have to tell you why and how, right? It's uh, Einstein who said, like, I don't have any particular talents. I have just a very curious mind, right? And I would say I'm the same way. I don't especially have that particular of a talent, but I'm very curious. Uh, my mind is constantly spinning. It's very, very curious mind. And I think that's why it has helped me with everything that I've done. And so, you need to understand the why and the how always. Principles over methods. I say that every single time. I think I'll say it in every single video. It's all about uh, principle over method. So you have to understand why and how you do what you do. Not just Don't just be happy being told what to do. You have to understand the why and the how. So from an athlete's perspective, it's important. But from a coach, you should have the curiosity to look for what makes an athlete better or not. That's your job as a coach. And that, that was the second point, was, uh, oh, they have no idea uh, what internal versus external is. Okay? Then educate them. That's your job. We deal in knowledge. That's, that's the trade. Uh, a coach-athlete relationship is based on knowledge. We make them better, not just at lifting. We just educate them on, on how to lift, not just what to do. Why and how to do it. I think the job of a, of a coach goes way past telling them just what to do. You have to explain to them the why and the how. Does that require more work out of you? Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. You're going to spend five, ten minutes every single day explaining the, the why it's so important to talk externally versus externally. What happens if you do it incorrectly? The injury is coming. Things like this. Yeah. It's part of our job. Yeah. And so, and then, you know, they, they'll say, well, it's not for everyone. No, lifting is for everyone. Your coaching isn't. That's the bottom line. But lifting is for everyone. I'm not saying snatching is for everyone or overhead squat. Or, there are movements that not everybody should be doing. But certainly training, lifting weights is for everyone. And the difference is your coaching isn't. That's all. And then the, the third point I want to make why it's so important to understand the base uh, argument of what it is. It has to do with neuroscience. Let me go. Let me explain my point on this. Um, there's a guy right now who can do the square root of a 16-digit numbers, Right. It's in, in under three seconds. It's absolutely ridiculous. And he does that not by using that particular part of the brain that we use for memorization or, or, calcul or calculus. He do it by associating other part of his brain to help in the task. How do we know that? Because they, 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 put, they, they were trying to see which part of the body was using glucose, which is a fuel for the brain to see. And they realized he was using part of the brain that is for spatial memory. Like, not spatial, like space or space or 
memory, like where, you know, the one you use to park your car, uh, do, to find your car and everything. That's what he was using in order to help with the calculus. So the brain works in, uh, by associating certain part of the brain that technically would have nothing to do with the task at hand to, to, uh, to be more powerful, right? So the, the point is you don't want to bang uh, just one side of your brain. You want to be able to incorporate others. And to do that, you have to have a clear association, right? The clearer the association, the easier it is to remember. So, for example, I'm going to give you a number. It's 24B1551A1375. I do, this number is not random. I memorized it. And so the problem with that is if I just give you this number and I ask you to remember it, 10 minutes from now, it's gone because you use that part of the brain that is short-term memory. That's only 15 seconds. 10 minutes from now, you have no idea. I'm pretty sure right now you can't tell me the number back, right? But so how do I know this number? Because I associate it with images. 24 is Jack Bauer, remember the show? B is for bois, means drink in French, right? 15, one and a half liter of 51, that's a name for pastis. It's an it's a alcohol here in France. A is for at. 13 is, a, is the district of Marseille, the city. 75 is the district of Paris, where I grew up. So Jack Bauer drinks one and a half liter of pastis in Marseille and Paris. 24B, 1551, A, 1375, right? That's how you remember stuff. This is Neuroscience 101. They actually have competitions like this of memorization, and people can memorize so many decks of cards by associating images. That is how the brain works. So why am I explaining this? Because when you're telling someone to snatch and you ask them to memorize a very complex movement and what it's supposed to do at each stage, right, that is different, they have to make a calculation. They have, they're going in the wrong part of the brain in order to, to do the movement. The movement is relating to the cervelet, which is in the back of the brain. That's the one who controls movement. When you ask them to remember spe spe something specific, they go toward the neocortex, which is not the same part of the brain. Something is lost, and so you have people that have a hard time. They understand what they have to do, but they have a hard time feeling it. So what you have to do is you have to create a link between the cervelet and uh, so you have to place the memorization in a different part of the brain. And so the easier the association, the easier that task is going to be. I know it's a different way of looking at coaching, but this is, this is how this works. Like the brain is, is very, very strong when you make, make it work like that. I'll, I'll do like a full uh, video on this. But so in the meantime, uh, that's how you, you manage to associate things correctly. Right? And so we have to give people very simple association. Simple, not simplistic. The difference between simple and simplistic is that simple has far-reaching applications. Simplistic does not, right? So what we need to have is very simple associations so that people can associate that information with the field and then manage to, to translate it into movement better. And so I think explaining movement patterns, is only for torque, external, external. So the movement matrix, which is pull external, push internal, squat external, hinge internal, it's something binary. It's a zero or one. It's very simple to remember. You will be able to associate complicated movement patterns based on the zero and a one. And that will make you way more efficient and think faster in a way toward doing complex movement like the snatch. So that's why torque is so important because we need to educate people. We need to make them better. Uh, when you refuse to, it's not that you refuse, but when you say, oh, they don't understand, then you already gave up on educating your athletes. And that means you gave up on being a coach. That's, that to, to me, that's laziness. Let's educate people. Let's, let's get them to understand exactly what the, the core element is, which is torque and movement patterns. And from there, associate that to the complex movement we're trying to make them do. And then they'll get it right away. I'm tired of seeing people just trying to fit people in their methods instead of exp make, making people understand the principles so they, they can be better. Principle over, method, over methods. If you're just trying to shove people in your methods, that is, to me, that is not being a coach. Being a coach is to educate. We trade in knowledge. One plus one equals three, right? So what was that number that I talked about before? 24B, 1551, A, 1375. See, it works.